Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I hope you're having a beautiful day so far. So today's video, I'm going to be testing out more new e.l.f. makeup, you guys. They just keep releasing a bunch of stuff and it just looks really good. So I have the new hydrating camel concealer to test out. I am super excited to test this one because you guys know I love the original one. A lot of us do and they decided to release a more hydrating one since the other one is a more of a soft matte finish, which works works amazing on my oily skin so i want to see how this one works you know because sometimes we have those days where we want a little bit more hydration and i feel like this one might be a little bit more natural so we're gonna go ahead and test it out i also have their new glitter their new sponge just a bunch of stuff you guys to test out so if you guys are interested on this video then make sure you guys just keep on watching so i'm gonna go ahead and get started by doing the eyes i told you guys i picked out their new glitter this is called the elf liquid glitter shadow and i picked this in the color doesn't really say the color oh it's called flirty birdie it says it right here so this retails only for five dollars and i'm super excited to test it out i love glitter you guys know this and a glitter shadow is 10 times better because it's a lot easier and i also went to target and i saw that they released some new eyeshadows look how cute this is you guys it's so little low-key reminds me of like the natasha denona you know those expensive shadows um but this was only three dollars so this is the elf bite size eyeshadow in the color cream and sugar this low-key reminds me you guys remember i don't know if they still have them when elf had like dollar shadows and it was like super small and colors like this uh, do you guys remember what i'm talking about because those used to be the shadows i used to like buy and practice my makeup with so i'm super excited to test this one out i swatched them and they seem really nice and creamy so we'll see how they apply on the eye so i'm gonna prime the eyes with the covergirl true blend concealer in the color natural golden and i saw that elf release a new primer for the eyes like the putty eye primer and by that time that i saw it it was like already too late because I already got this product in the mail so if i ever do another order from ulta i will definitely be picking that up to see how it works i'm gonna go in with that little palette and i'm gonna grab this shade here hopefully that's a good enough transition let's see i'm hoping for it to be a really nice nude color and i'm using a morphe m535 brush and i'm just going in in circular motions this color seems pretty light and these are the type of colors I like to wear for like that nude makeup I love doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. They do have quite a lot of fallout as you guys can see. But $3 that is such a good deal and I like how little they are so if you're traveling you can just put it there or in your bag for school. I remember I used to do my makeup in high school at school. You know back in my extra days because girl now in college i barely even like to wear makeup so i'm gonna go ahead and keep blending this out and they are blending great they do have other shades as well i just picked this one up because it looks like the most neutral one and since i picked out a color like this i wanted to stay in the neutral shades but if these are good i'm definitely gonna go and buy all of them because they're so inexpensive and i got this ones from target okay like in person so now that i have that there i'm gonna go ahead and just leave it like that and apply the glitter shades so this one's again retails for five dollars and you can get this at the elf website target has them and also ulta i saw ulta has them online as well this packaging i cannot for the life of me get it especially with this long nails I just need to go like this and there you go this is what oh this is so cute and little oh my god look how little it is you guys it's so cute five dollars and let me go ahead and read to you guys what it claims to do it says short sweet and seriously sparkly get an amped up eye look with just one swipe one swipe i can barely say that glitter coverage with the elf cosmetics liquid glitter shadow it says it's gel based formula it's long lasting quick drying and 100 percent eye catch let's apply this on the eye it says you need one swipe and they're quick drying Ooh, that's pretty that is glittery that is pretty look what it looks like that's one swipe 
Let me go ahead and wait for it to dry. That is really pretty and very like baby doll eye. Don't you think? I love makeup like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the same side. I'm not even going to dip it. And I'm gonna repeat it on this eye. These are very pigmented. And this is like a really beautiful color. This one's already dry, so they are pretty fast drying and they look really nice. Let me know what you guys think so far. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is take a little flat brush. This is the JH43 brush and I'm gonna be taking this darker color here. And again, they do have fallout, so be careful. And I'm just gonna line my eye with it. I'm taking a really fluffy brush. This is the M321. You see like a little like... I don't know how to call this a fluffy small brush and i'm gonna go ahead and start smoking this out i see and going up okay and this is really nice to do to create a very pretty soft glam effect and i'm gonna go ahead and grab again that same angle brush and go back and forth until i create my desired smoky effect and if you cannot, for the life of you, get it to go up, just take like a little piece of paper and then you can just put it here and then you can use that to go up too so you can create the perfect line. But since I'm going to be using concealer, I can just clean it up like that. I'm going to go ahead and add some lashes. I have this ones, you guys. These are from Batty B Lashes. They're in the style plastic and I'm so obsessed with them. So I need to go and order more lashes because I ran out of all of them. Well, not all of them, but like my favorite ones. So now I'm just going to go ahead and apply them. And you guys will see lashes just complete any look. Look. Look how pretty. You can see the difference like more glam than natural let's move on to primer i'm gonna be using once again the elf matte pudding primer some of you guys have been asking me which one i prefer so versus this one versus the makeup revolution and honestly i still haven't put them like to a test like one by one but i feel like the makeup revolution it's a little bit more like mattifying a little bit more thicker that's what i'm trying to say because that one makes my face like white and this one doesn't so i'm gonna go ahead and put them to a test and then i'll let you guys know what i think so now that i have that there i'm gonna move on to foundation one of you told me to try out the hard candy foundation that i love with the maybelline one to mix them and it creates a really good combo so i'm gonna go ahead and take the maybelline natural beige foundation so this one is like the newest one i have so i'm gonna go ahead and take this in the back of my hand and then apply this here we'll see if it's worth the combo but yeah i always read your comments so always make sure you guys comment you guys can dm me snap me i'll always try to respond so let me see how this blends out oh wow the coverage i'm impressed this is very nice coverage i'm of course not gonna apply foundation underneath the eye area because we are going to be testing out a concealer and i want to see how full coverage it is well i think you guys just put me onto something new because this looks really good and the coverage it's even better all right so i'm gonna go ahead and leave my face like this i'm not even gonna add another layer to my cheeks because i feel like i have amazing coverage on so let's move on to the concealer and the sponge so first let me go ahead and wet the sponge this is the new camel concealer sponge it says it works really great with the concealers so i believe this was five dollars or four dollars i put the correct price and I'll have it linked below as well. And this says it's latex free. It says the perfect sponge to complement the camel concealer. This sponge was specifically or especially, I'm sorry, specially designed to perform best with this concealer. So let me show you guys how it looks like. All right. So this is how it looks like dry. 
and then i'm gonna go and wet it and i should be right so this is what it looks like once it's wet it looks really nice and it also feels super nice i looked it up it's not on the ulta website just yet it's on the elf website and it retails for five dollars i also saw it at target in case you're wondering like i said i have a new hydrating camel concealer i picked it up in the color i always use which is medium beige okay that's the color i usually like so this is what it looks like the hydrating one and then this is what the original looks like so matte and original 16 hour wear it's the black packaging and then hydrating is the white packaging okay so this one retails six dollars it is supposed to be hydrating it says it's a full coverage hydrating long wearing concealer featuring a large doe food applicator to conceal correct contour and highlight for a flawless finish it says it's a highly pigmented formula it's lightweight with a satin finish that won't settle into fine lines or creases ideal for all skin types but great for dry skin so if you found these regular 16 hour wear camel concealer too drying for you there's hope okay because there's this one so let's test it out i don't have any foundation underneath the eye area this is what it looks like okay and we're gonna go ahead and see so it kind of looks just like the regular one and i bought the same color okay so that's the one i feel like they're kind of the same and then let me swatch the color so this is medium beige regular formula and this is medium beige hydrating formula oh i can see a difference this one looks like a little bit lighter which i personally do not mind so matte hydrating same shade okay i feel like this one looks just like how it's supposed to and it hasn't oxidized and the matte one does oxidize of course i'm gonna be going up and i'm gonna do one eye at a time and let's blend it out with the sponge it is pretty easy to hold too it's blending out just like the regular camel concealer oh wow but it's hydrating too like it doesn't look super matte I do like a matte finish but you know what when it comes to like concealers and stuff i don't mind a hydrating one what a hydrating foundation that scares me but hydrating concealer i don't mind you know and it looks nice it's blending out great it looks super pretty too look you see that i might as well just do one eye with the hydrating and then one eye just the regular one so we can like actually see so let me see now i'm gonna go in with the matte one okay i'm gonna apply the same amount or kind of because i don't really remember i'm sorry and then i'm just gonna go ahead and just whoop, flip the sponge and then i'm gonna go ahead and blend it out i hope you guys can see the shade difference on camera i feel like they're both blending out exactly the same but I can definitely see this one. It's already like setting to a matte finish. They're both giving me really pretty coverage. And then I'm going to go ahead and flip it again. So that's what it looks like, you guys. That is one side hydrating, one side matte. Let me take a closer mirror. Every mirror I have is always dirty. Let me see if this one isn't dirty. Okay. So... I can see the difference so this one is already matte is set this one looks really nice it looks really hydrated I would say if you have a very dry skin go with this one and if you have more mature skin I feel like this will look really good too and I like everything I feel like I like both concealers to be honest but yeah this one is more like makeup y if that makes sense so if you want a more natural everyday concealer i would say go with the hydrating one because this one looks more like skin this one since it sets like a matte finish it's more you know like makeup y okay so i zoomed it in so you guys can see better so again matte that's what it looks like and then hydrating 
see that natural really pretty glow feels really nice on the skin they both blend it out great but this one is just like more self-setting and then this is how they look like in my hand so you can clearly see the matte medium beige is like a more pinky tone when it dries down and then the hydrating one it's like that perfect color that i love so if you guys are into the same shade as me definitely pick up medium beige for the hydrating one because it looks really nice okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and set the concealer i'm gonna be using the huda beauty one this is in the color pound cake should i go with this one it's because it's the only thing i can find right now so i'm gonna go in with that one elf also released a new setting powder but this is like halo glowing and i have an idea for this one so i'm gonna stay where i belong which is the matte side because i already know i do not like a shimmery powder underneath my eye area if i do that it's just i'm just gonna be biased i'm just gonna be biased and i'm not gonna like it so i'm gonna stick to what i know and that i like and i'm just gonna be using that same sponge you know what i'm actually really liking this sponge even though I don't really like using different sponges, I realize that. But if I feel like one day taking my time, this is a really nice sponge. And the less setting powder you use, the better, okay? Now I'm going to move on to bronzing the skin. I'm going to go in with the number 7 bronzing powder in the shade Caramel. Caramel. I said that so freaking Puerto Rican caramel okay and i'm gonna go in with the little angle brush from elf and i'm just gonna go ahead and just you know bronze up the skin bring back color let me apply some blush i'm gonna go in with the bh cosmetics nude blush palette and i'm gonna grab this one here this really pretty oops i'm sorry this really pretty pink color i'm like showing you the color you guys can't even see it I'm gonna put it here going upwards and then whatever's left on the brush i run it all over my face just so everything's blended okay so let's move on to powder so i picked up this one the elf hello glow setting powder and i believe it comes in three colors they have light medium dark i picked it up in the shade light and you guys the reason i picked this up is because it reminded me of the jacqueline hill setting powder that she released i wanted to try that one out but i didn't want to pay so much for it since i'm not really like a highlighter type of girl so when i saw this it reminded me just of of hers but a lot cheaper and i wanted to see how it looks as a highlighter you know since it's supposed to keep you shine free it's supposed to be blurring and let's see how it works so this comes with like a little twisty thing container so i'm gonna go ahead and see how i can do this it says peel off and turn dial i have here my aoa studio f19 brush this brush is only a dollar and it's so good so I'm going to go ahead, apply some here. Oh, yes. You see? This is exactly what I was thinking it was going to do. It's like a really pretty... Oh, I overdid it here. Oh, wow. You guys, I think we just have found the new highlighter for texture oily skin girls. So this is what it looks like matte. And then this is with the glow. It just creates such a nice glowy skin but like it looks like you're just glowing within oh wow that's pretty it emphasizes my texture just a little bit right here but of course it is glowy so it makes sense why yeah it definitely does so it's not like super like it's not gonna show your texture but it's not but it doesn't show your texture as much as other highlighters do like it looks pretty good Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly finish up the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with that nude shade and that fluffy brush. I love me a nude shade like this. It's like the Jaclyn Hill palette that I told you guys about. It reminds me a lot of that. And then I'm going to be taking this golden colors here, tap exit, and I'll apply it here in the inner corner. And I'm not even wetting the brush or nothing. And I'm going to bring it up. The glitter feels super lightweight too. It doesn't feel like you have glitter. You know like sometimes there is glitter that feels really heavy. This one 
just in at all like it doesn't feel like you have glitter or like anything sticky so the eyes are done i'm loving how everything looks like i love the glow i never do highlighter so when i do i'm like a completely different person so i'm gonna go ahead and finish the lips i'm feeling a nude for today like always every single day of my life so hmm, let me find a lip liner um this one's kkw shade 1.5 let me see yeah this is a little bit too neutral for today's look i want a little bit something darker okay so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is just apply the carly x il maquillage then I'm gonna go in with the Libra shade, which I love. Look at that. It's so good. It is currently 2.09, so let's just say 2 because I did finish my makeup a little bit while ago. So I am super happy with how everything looks like, to be honest. Everything looks super high-end. Everything just looks beautiful and really soft and like a facetune effect, like in real life. This does says, do you want to make your skin look like it's wearing a beauty filter for the powder right here? And I feel like it really does make your skin look really good. I won't say it doesn't 100% show your texture, but it does make your skin look really pretty yet glowy so you know i'm really liking how everything looks like and then when it comes to the concealer i feel like both perform amazing like high end for only six dollars i did notice the shade difference so medium beige you guys are both medium beige and you can definitely see it right there that they both do not look like a medium beige so again here it is you guys after like 30 minutes this is the matte medium beige you can see it's completely matte and this is the medium beige when it comes to the hydrating which i 100 percent prefer this color over this one because this one does oxidize and look how beautiful it looks i'm gonna go ahead and go throughout my day right now like i said it's two right now it's 2 12 but let's just say it's two i'm gonna go eat because i'm hungry i always get hungry when i film my videos and then i will be back in a couple of hours it is currently 8 44 p.m as you guys can see right there so this is how my makeup is looking like you guys to be honest i am super happy with how everything looks like i feel like everything looks really pretty really smooth still um, i'm definitely oily but it's nothing too crazy you know it's a pretty good makeup day so let's talk about the makeup that we have tried out today so when it comes to the three dollar shadows i actually really like them i feel like they're pigmented they work they blend out great it's still on the eye and look let me go ahead and just swatch the shimmer shades you see how pigmented that is i feel like everything just looks really pretty for only three dollars they're very good if you're looking just for another small little eyeshadow to add to your collection is it a must have of course not but if you like it you like it and i would say it's pretty good for the price so i like that and then the little five dollar eyeshadows this color worked really good for me it is a neutral shade and also i wanted to compare it to the stila ones this is the stila shade in the color kitten Ooh, i feel like we found a dupe so this is the applicator for the stila and then i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it Stila is a little bit more pigmented, I can already tell, but they are super expensive. You can find them sometimes like in TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And then this one is in Flirty Birdie. This is the applicator, and then here they are. You guys, look at that. This is Elf, this is Stila. Isn't that like a, such a good dupe? I feel like they look the same, to be honest. Five dollars, twenty-four dollars. I feel like you guys should definitely just go for the elf one. The only thing I do have to say for the elf one is that the glitter does get on your face just a tiny bit. They are pretty long wearing though because look, they're still on my eye. Nothing has really come off completely. You do need like one layer and you're good to go. 
at least for this shade yeah it looks pretty good i like it this eyelash is like about to fall off so i like that and then i also like the concealer the concealer you guys is super super nice the hydrating concealer i would highly recommend if you have dry skin even if you have oily skin it worked great for me personally i don't really have a huge problem when it comes to under eye concealers it's not really my problem when it comes to foundation it is different you know i do need a really matte foundation but for concealers i can go in with the hydrating one and i can go in with the matte one they're both great concealers as you guys saw me medium beige is definitely different okay this one is definitely more it oxidizes and also it's super mattifying and then this one as you guys can see it did set but it wasn't like all over the place which i really liked but honestly both concealers are great elf did an amazing job with both i feel like i have found two favorite concealers even though they're like from the same brand I feel like this one is a little bit more drier the matte side you guys let me know what you guys think the hydrating one just looks really good underneath the eye area so it's up to you which one you prefer let me know in the comments below and then the last thing we have tried today was the halo glow powder this is such a beautiful powder for right here on the cheek area i do not think it's really mattifying to be honest even though it's not claiming to be like the most mattifying thing ever it's just a pretty glowing powder you might like this all over your face if you have super dry skin or you don't care you know but for me personally i will wear this just right here on the cheek area and i feel like it looks really nice and it reminds me of the jaclyn hill one even though i haven't tried that one but like the whole description reminds me of this one so i like this i'll probably keep using it and i'll let you guys know more about it but i feel like it did a really good job at giving me a glow and not emphasizing too much texture you know so yeah guys that's pretty much all i have for today's video thank you so much for joining me let me know in the comments below what you guys think of all the new elf releases let me know if you guys are going to be picking anything up let me know what you guys think of the products so thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me have a beautiful rest of your day and i will see you guys on the next one Mwah.